When choosing a life partner, a narcissistic person is a wrong person to choose. Being in a relationship with someone who had such a dark personality is going to be emotionally and psychologically exhausting. A narcissistic partner will drain all the life and spirit from you. They will use you emotionally and sometimes literal punching bag. It is incredibly draining and you will end up losing a lot of who you are and what you stand for and sacrificing a lot of what you care about. Being in a relationship with a narcissistic person will do you more harm than good. God is good, kind and merciful, and as the father that he is, he will always protect you. He has seen the trouble ahead of you if you end up in a relationship with a narcissistic person and so he will warn you about the person. He will open your eyes to some of the narcissistic traits in a person that you might be overlooking. Here are about 5 signs that God is trying to warn you that a person is a narcissistic person. Number 1. They try to manipulate and control you. A narcissist tends to be self-hating, vulnerable individuals. They cannot stand to be alone with their thoughts and need non-stop attention and affection from others to feel good about themselves. While they frequently seek affection and admiration for their well-being, they emotionally abuse and manipulate their partners to fit into what they want. Narcissists seek control of everything and everyone around them. They love to be able to manipulate others, people's feelings, because controlling others helps them get what they want and make them feel good. Narcissists are experts at using words and actions to make others feel bad about themselves or even to be angry at someone else. Will often talk badly about other people within the group to create conflict. They like to have everyone around them at odds with each other because it allows them to control the situation more. A narcissistic person uses different tactics to control and manipulate people and one of them is blame shifting. A narcissistic person will decide to shift blames whenever they are being held answerable for hurting your feelings. They shift the focus from themselves and change the subject to something you did to them in the past that hurt them or some imperfection you have. This tactic then compels you to question your contribution to causing this problem eventually, having you take a disproportionate amount of responsibility for something you did not do. It is skillful deflection they have turned into a well-honed craft. Another tactic a narcissist controls you and manipulates you is by involving your emotions. A narcissistic person will use emotions to commandeer your empathy. They will fabricate detailed genuine stories of how someone in their past or present wronged them, used them or harmed them. They will often use tears in a sober tone to further invoke your empathy for their dilemma. No one cries faster than a narcissist trying to manipulate someone into doing something they want. Invoking that emotion plants them firmly as a victim in the eyes of the compassionate witness and removes any question or challenge of their part in the story. A narcissistic person will have wild mood swings which are used as an attempt to control others. The reason narcissistic people are so emotional and unstable is that they have learned to use their emotions, like anger and sadness, as a weapon to control other people. Number 2. They talk about themselves almost all the time. Narcissists constantly turn the conversation toward themselves and away when the conversation is no longer about them. They are typically apathetic to what other people have to say. They are obsessed with themselves and that means they are their favorite subjects. Narcissists view the world and everything in it through a filter that shows how every topic and situation relates to them. So their responses to what you say will always put their perspective back in the spotlight. They have very little, if any, ability to empathize with others, so they will probably never be able to understand your point of view. Having a conversation with them is one-sided and they usually interrupt you while speaking. They will jump into the conversation while you are still speaking. At first, 
It can sound like they are being helpful or sharing an opinion or resource, but it quickly becomes clear that this conversation is no longer about you. It is now about them. They talk too much. Since narcissists are constantly seeking approval and acceptance from their audience, their constant talking will sound more like a lecture than a conversation. There is so much showing off and wanting to appear very smart, special, knowledgeable, and intuitive. Number 3. Superiority Complex Narcissist almost always comes with an advanced stage superiority complex, and this displays itself in a variety of ways. When someone is truly self-centered and obsessed with their own opinion and outcomes, they can come to believe that they are smarter, better, and faster than the other people around them. Gradually, they become so inwardly adjusted that they fail to see any shortcomings and genuinely come to see themselves as inevitable successes and supremely special individuals with dangerous thinking when it comes to a life's ups and downs. This feeling of supremacy present in narcissists also leads them to believe that they are entitled to whatever they desire. They demand special treatment and feel easily slighted when they don't receive the level of attention and care that they deserve. A narcissistic person believes that the world was created to serve their purposes. They are the center of their universe, so everyone and everything should revolve around their needs, desires, and fancies. Number 4. Lack of Empathy Empathy is the ability to see things from another's point of view. A key characteristic of narcissism is the lack of disability. A person only sees things from their view. Their feelings and comfort are of utmost importance. They tend to think that others are only capable of feeling or seeing things in the same way as they do. It does not occur to them that other perspectives may exist. Narcissists tend to be selfish and self-involved and are usually unable to understand what other people are feeling. They expect others to think and feel the same as they do, and never give any thought to how others feel. They are also rarely apologetic, remorseful, or guilty. Some narcissists also lack an understanding of the nature of feelings. They do not understand how their feelings occur. They think their feelings are caused by someone or something outside of themselves. They do not realize that their feelings are caused by their biochemistry, thinking, and interpretations. In simple terms, a narcissistic person always thinks you cause their feelings, especially the negative ones. They conclude that because you did not follow their plan or because you made them feel vulnerable, you are to blame. This lack of empathy makes true emotional connections and relationships with narcissistic people difficult or impossible. They just do not notice what anyone else is feeling. Narcissists make most of their decisions based on how they feel about something. It is impossible to have emotional reasoning with them. You may have probably tried to reason and use logic with the narcissist to get them to understand the painful effect their behaviors have on you. You think that if they understand how much their behavior hurts you, they will change. Doing this will get you nowhere. Your explanations, regardless, do not make sense to a narcissistic person who only seems able to be aware of their thoughts and feelings. Although narcissists may say they understand, they honestly do not. Therefore, narcissists make most of their decisions based on how they feel about something. They simply must have that sports car based entirely on how they feel driving it not on whether it is a good choice to make for the family or the budget. If they are bored or depressed, they want to end the relationship or start a new business or relocate. They always look to something or someone outside themselves to solve their feelings and needs. They expect you to go along with their solutions and they react with irritation and resentment if you do not. Number 5. They will rather spend on themselves than spend on people that are important to them. The person thinks too highly of themselves and that makes them selfish. 
they will spend lavishly on themselves and neglect people that matter. One of the obvious ways to tell how important someone feels they are is seen in how they spend their money. Our narcissistic person will love money because they will have a greedy desire to buy things for themselves while refusing to attend to the needs of those they are supposed to serve and take care of.